I now recognize Chief Southers to summarize his statement for five minutes. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Thank you very much for inviting me to appear before you this morning to discuss the international interdisciplinary and risk-based counterterrorism strategies and best practices we've engaged in at the Los Angeles World Airports. We placed a high priority on the opportunity to explore and experiment with possible solutions. Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa has embraced public safety as his number one priority in the city of Los Angeles. During his tenure, crime has fallen to historically low levels. He's a staunch proponent in the area of counterterrorism as well. He's placed police and counterterrorism professionals in charge of security at the Los Angeles International Airport, an economic anchor for Southern California. This resulted in a model consisting of a protective design under the new leadership of the paradigm of the mayor's appointee, Director James T. Butts, Jr., a former 15-year police chief with 34 years of law enforcement experience. LAX is safer today than it was 18 months ago. Under their leadership, we've embarked upon a more contemporary and holistic approach to airport policing. Our attackers must conduct surveillance and reconnaissance in order to be successful. It's a proven fact that randomness increases security. A team of researchers at the Homeland Security for Center for Risk and Economic Analysis of Terrorism Events, CREATE, led by Dr. Malen Tombe, worked with our department to develop Armor, assistant for randomized motoring over routes. This software randomizes our vehicle checkpoints along airport access roads and the deployment of our explosives detection canine teams throughout the airport.